Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are discussing my current favorites. I have a list right here of all of my favorites and we're gonna go through them because I have over 20 of my current favorites in skincare, makeup and beauty, self-care tech, and creators. I have a lot of things to get into in this video, so subscribe if you enjoy, comment down below your favorites, and without further ado, Let's talk about my favorites. Starting off with skincare, my absolute favorite moisturizer at the moment is the Pond's Moisturizer. And I know, I know a lot of people think that these are for old people, but it is really good. The consistency is so perfect for under makeup. It's like watery, but it's still thick and like creamy and these adjectives are weird to put together. But anyways, next up on the list, I have a gua sha and I've recently started using it. I've been trying to use it every day. I haven't used it the last few days because it's been a crazy weekend, but I can see such a difference in my skin and how I feel in my skin when I use a gua sha. TikTok has a lot of really good videos of creators basically sharing like how you're supposed to properly use it but it is so good and by the way I will be linking everything that I mentioned in this video down below next up we have my vitamin C serum and I don't remember what brand I specifically use but I love vitamin C I do tend to keep my skincare routine like pretty minimal I'll only add like a few things into my skincare routine but the vitamin C serum is stay like it works so well I specifically use it to target acne scarring on my skin and it works really really well for me it might not work for you but it works really well for me. I'm transitioning off of Accutane and so I have some acne scarring on my face that I'm trying to target at the moment and the vitamin C serum is helping me so much with that. Moving into lip balms. This is a very, very important category to me and if you've been on Accutane, you know that it's an important category for me. Let me see if I actually have it over here. This is my absolute favorite lip balm that I've ever tried on Accutane and off of Accutane. It is the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. I have mine with like the natural mint and shea butter. And what's amazing about this lip balm is that it has SPF 25 in it. But again, I've used this well on Accutane and it works really, really well. And if you've ever been on Accutane, you would know that not all lip balms work. Another lip balm that I really like that has worked while I was on Accutane and off of it is the Lawless forget the filler overnight lip plumping mask i have not tried like the chapstick form i've only tried the potted form but this works really really well especially if you put it on overnight and you wake up the next morning and it still feels like you just put it on and your lips feel nice and plump and moisturized now for eye creams one of my absolute favorite eye creams that i recently started using is the elf hydro what is it called? It's the e.l.f. eye cream in like the blue container. It's amazing. I forget what it's called, but it's amazing. I really like it because it doesn't sink into your skin super quickly. It kind of sits there for a second, which I feel like helps. And it really does make my eyes feel so moisturized. Next up, we have reusable cotton rounds. I didn't think I was gonna like these. To be honest, I thought that they weren't gonna work as well as like makeup wipes or cotton rounds, but they work even better than just like a normal cotton round. They work amazingly. I got like a huge 50 pack and it came with like a little baggie to put them in so you can throw them into the wash. Now we're gonna move into makeup and beauty. First, we're gonna start off with my absolute favorite primer slash sunscreen, which is the e.l.f. Woe Glow Sunscreen Primer. I believe it has SPF 30 in it and I think that it is beautiful. On my no makeup makeup days where I'm leaving the house and I wanna look presentable, like I'm going to work, I just don't feel like wearing like cakes of makeup. I'll put on my e.l.f. Woe Glow Primer sunscreen stuff and it blurs your skin and makes your skin look so dewy and beautiful. It gives the exact same effect as the elf halo glow and it sits really really well both under makeup and just as a makeup base in general next up is lash dye and i think that that's something that i feel like i would never have said in the past but i recently tried dyeing my lashes i got like a little lash dyeing kit and if you didn't know I'm currently not wearing mascara. I just curled my lashes for the video because my lashes are already dyed. But it was super inexpensive to do. I think my kit was like $9 on Amazon and it worked really well. Next, we have my favorite concealer, which is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I used to use this stuff in middle school. I loved it then. I love it now. I just love how lightweight it is, but it really works on your under eyes. Besides the e.l.f. halo glow that I have on right now, it's the only other like face makeup that I have on and my skin just looks, it looks flawless. I look like I got a full night's sleep. Moving on to some makeup sponges that I have literally been dying over. Like I love them. It is this little plastic jar of beauty blenders. It's from BS Mall. They're latex free makeup sponges. I love that it comes like in a container to store them rather than just like a plastic bag because I can totally reuse this jar when I'm done with all of them and 
when you plump them up with water, they get ginormous. And I like the squishiness amount. It blended my makeup really well. I'm also pretty sure it was like $6 on Amazon, so it's worth it. Next, we're gonna talk about the entirety of e.l.f. Halo Glow. I have the foundation or whatever it's called. I'm currently wearing that right now. I absolutely love their contour wands. I have one of the lighter shades and it is perfect for my skin tone. I also do really like their liquid blushes. Just overall, I feel like e.l.f. really nailed this line and I really hope that they stay for a while because I really like them. Next, we're gonna talk about some perfume. In high school, I had the Ariana Grande Cloud perfume and I remember like every day at school I would get a compliment about how good I smelled and it made me so happy and I love that perfume it was a great perfume and I hadn't worn it in a couple years and a few months ago I was like hmm I really want this perfume back so my boyfriend actually got it for me for Christmas as well and I've been wearing it non-stop like it smells so good I would compare the scent to those like pheromone scents that are like going viral like I don't know what's in it but it smells so good it lasts all day final thing for makeup and beauty is my tangle teaser brush I have a lot of fine hair that's kind of a recipe for disaster if you're not using the right brush. I also have very long hair and I wanna keep it that way. I wanna keep it beautiful and healthy and just luscious. And I love the Tangle Teaser brush because it very gently brushes out my hair, but it works really, really well on tangles. It works really, really well just in general. I've been really trying to make this year, I've been trying to make 2024 my self-care era. And honestly, I have been knocking it out of the park. Like I've been doing a really good job. I'm really proud of myself and I have found a new love for self-care. The first on my list is my Kindle. I love to read. Reading is my absolute favorite way to just like wind down. I don't like looking at screens while I'm reading. I've tried reading on an iPad before, didn't like it. I do like reading hardcover books, but the only problem with that is that I have nowhere to put like a big stack of books. If you haven't already watched my video where I go over all the books I read in 2023 and all my thoughts on them, definitely go check that out after this video. But I think I read, I think 15 books last year and I don't have anywhere to put 15 books, which is why I really like my Kindle because it feels like I'm reading a book. It doesn't feel like a screen, but it's such an easy way for me to read and it's like small and compact so I can take it on the go with me. It's just, I love my Kindle. I love my Kindle. Next is my favorite planner. She is from Typo and she is a daily planner. And one of my favorite things about this planner is that each page is a new day and each page is also lined. So there's not a lot going on on each page and I can kind of tailor it to however I want my day to be. Whether I need to write a schedule, a to-do list, maybe a journal entry, some ideas, I can do whatever I want on each page. Next, we're gonna talk about my absolute favorite water bottle at the moment. If you know me at all, you know that I personally go through a lot of water bottles in a year. This is the Owala water bottle, and my absolute favorite thing about it is that there's two different ways to sip your water. I really like this spout that you can use as a straw because it allows you to chug it because there's also this big opening that you can use to just like tip it back and sip from it so because there's more like airflow going into the water bottle versus like a hydro flask that has like an itty bitty little like hole for oxygen flow it allows me to chug And it also keeps my water ridiculously cold for a ridiculous amount of time, which is also why I really like it. Next is my absolute favorite workout tops. I recently got them from Target and they are amazing. I feel like Target's really stepped up their game with apparel in the last year or so. The workout tops that I specifically absolutely love are kind of like a dupe to the Lululemon tops. I don't remember what they're called, but I absolutely love these tops. They are so comfortable. I like that they have built-in cups. They're just really well made and I really really like them just for everyday wear or for working out. Something that I particularly hate in workout tops sometimes is like the little side part that goes next to your armpit and your boob. Sometimes it's like too far in and then it like pinches you and it's so uncomfortable but these don't and that's why I really really like them. And now we're going to talk about some hand sanitizers that I really like and I know that this sounds really random but I'm going to talk about them. I have two of them in front of me but I know I have one other one somewhere in this room. These are the Touchland Power Mist Hydrating Hand sanitizers and I absolutely love them. The two current scents that I have in front of me, Wild Watermelon and Beach Cocoa. I think my favorite one is the Beach Cocoa one. I just love the spray. Like it's a little, it's a little spritz. We love it. I like them because 
Oh, I just almost dropped it. I like it because I can just throw it in my purse. I don't have to worry about it exploding on a hot day like some hand sanitizers do. And the scent is more like perfumey than like Bath and Body Works. Moving on to tech. The first thing is my Apple Watch band that I'm currently using. I absolutely love it. I just, I don't like the hassle of like having to like strap in an Apple Watch every time I'm putting one on. It's just inconvenient. So I found this one on Amazon and it's an elastic one, but it also has an adjustable little thing on it. You can't see my wrist, but anyways. And it's a pretty like rose pink color. And it also came in a pack with a white one as well. And I absolutely love my watch band. I like it also because it fits different types of aesthetics. Like it's comfortable to wear to work. It's comfortable to wear if I'm working out, but it also looks presentable if I need to look presentable. Next up, I'm gonna say her name real quietly because I don't want her to wake up, but it is my Alexa. We love her. She's, we stand her, like we love her. I have a pretty purple Alexa pop one. She's so cute. We love her. She has good sound quality. She responds. We love her. One thing that I really like is that I have her control my lights. I have a smart plug for the lights right back there and I have some smart bulbs up top but I really like it because I can tell her to turn on and off the lights and I also really like that you can name the lights. Like watch this. Alexa, turn off Jacob. Okay. Alexa, turn on Jacob. It's wonderful. She also plays music obviously if you need to set a timer, an alarm. She's great. The next thing that I actually really, really like is this little phone stand that I got off of Amazon. I not only use it for my actual phone when I'm on my desk or in, at, at my desk, I will also sometimes use it like this if I'm vlogging at my desk because I don't need a full tripod. It'll just, it'll hold the camera great. Moving into our final category, which is creators. I saw this in someone else's favorite video and I thought that this was so genius. Like mention your favorite creators. Cause sometimes I feel like on YouTube, I'm stuck in a rut between who I wanna watch and it's sometimes hard to find a channel or a creator specifically unless you're Google searching a very specific niche. I hate that word. Here are a few creators that I've either been watching for a while that I really, really like or some new ones that I found that I really, really like. Like the first two I've been watching for years, but we have Keegan Acton. I really like her channel because she's very realistic. She just shows her day-to-day -day life. Her primary videos that she uploads are just weeks in my life or monthly resets. But I also love how just like raw and real her videos are. Like you can tell she's just a person living her life and sharing it on the internet. The next person we have is Tara Michelle. I've been watching her since probably middle school, high school. I love her videos so much. I really like her editing style. She's been developing a new editing style this year, which I also really like, but I just love how aesthetically pleasing she is. And she also does kind of keep it real in her vlogs. But something I really like about her is that she goes for her goals and she goes for her dreams. She is unapologetically herself. She doesn't let the internet stop her from doing what she wants to do and what she really loves to do. These next two creators are ones that I've recently found in the last month who I really like both of their videos they're both very aesthetically pleasing. I'm gonna admit, I'm in my aesthetically pleasing video viewing era. I really like both Emma Marie and Emily Pol Polici. I think that's how you say her name. They just both have such aesthetically pleasing videos and I also just really like vlog based videos, but all four of these creators, I feel like all four of these creators have really helped me develop my own routine, kind of just helped me improve my daily habits and my life habits. So that's why I chose them for my current favorites for creators because I feel like they're just very inspirational and I really like watching them. But anyways, those are all of my current favorites, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any of your current favorites that I didn't mention in this video, let me know in the comments what your current favorites are and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Go check out the other videos on my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.